Howdy do folks, Tom Barbley here once again. So, Minape, uh, initially, and I'll talk a little bit more about Minape, but it only reduced the source code in terms of line count by about 10%, which is still something. I mean, you know, 10% is initial piece. I think there's probably an additional 5 to 10% that can be removed accordingly. That's the secondary piece. What I'm looking at now is maintaining the command line. I was originally going to ditch the command line, but I think the command line is incredibly important, and also maintaining the GUI. So I think we're going back to a circa, I don't know, 2003 paradigm of basically having a single wrapper um, which encapsulates both the GUI and the command line through a series of commands. And that, and then the, you have the inner simulation core. So the aim is to take everything and put it back into the inner simulation core and make sure that that is something which is um, movable to this, you know, multi-language idea, which I'll talk a little bit more about. So the simulation core currently, it compiles, actually, having removed the 10% of code, it actually compiles considerably faster. The frame rate is a little bit better. So there are a few things that are in play um, which have been fixed, and this is literally the past 12 hours worth of work on it, on and off, just in the back of my head. Let's remove this, let's remove this, let's try this out. And the continuous integration, continuous development has been really critical. GitLab's continuous integration, continuous development has just meant that when I've broken this unnecessarily or found broken a bit accidentally, uh, it's been very quick to report that. And it's probably 20% of the time has been actually fixing CICD um, related issues as they're caught in real time, which is particularly cool. And I think we'll make this project a lot easier when we move to this idea of what I'm calling generic or genetic C. I'm still in two minds about what, what to call it, but the idea of maybe generic slash genetic C initially, or um, GGC as opposed to GCC, I think that's pretty cute. Anyway, so the idea is that you have a C source code, um, which is sufficiently generic that it can easily be ported to um, the two languages now, Python and JavaScript. Java was in there for a minute, um, but I think Python and JavaScript are the two languages that the output should be uh, in from the underlying, what I'm calling generic or genetic C. So the idea is to take the C source code as it exists in the current simulation and just simplify it in a certain way. I mean, the idea of an object specification with regards to every um, C source file, I think is a pretty good idea just in terms of general readability. And that would make it very easy to move it to um, either Python or JavaScript relatively quickly. So you have a, a, top, a top heavy introduction basically associated with what this thing will contain. And here's interesting because you've got header files that come into play. The license is a big part of the text. In fact, actually removing the license universally from um, all the source files and just pointing to a license file, I think would reduce the source code by probably 5% currently. Nah, no, maybe that's an, an ambitious ballpark, maybe more like 2%. So the idea is to have a, an independent, um, probably, I don't know, sub-module um, that would just contain the a generic C to um, Python or JavaScript convert, or Python and JavaScript do the two together. Um, and that would sit in uh, a directory aligned with the, what becomes the simulation core, fundamentally. So you'd have something where it was constantly um, trying to take the C and convert it into Python or JavaScript accordingly, and then compile just to confirm that it still compiles in uh, Python or JavaScript. Now this is an interesting project in and of itself, and I think this will probably take about a month and a lot of good thinking and a lot of uh, time, probably a large portion away from the keyboard. Oh, sorry about the alert status that just pops up while I'm talking randomly. Anyway, so the idea is to further simplify the simulation, uh, get it into a format where it returns very quickly to a command line on the top or a GUI on the top, um, and then just take that underlying simulation core and make that part of this um, multi-language output um, development. And I think I'll probably pull a web page together. Probably that's the first <laughs> week is the web page, maybe a little bit more than a week, um, just to give some indication of what um, I'm trying to put together here. And also the changes which I've been documenting currently only on YouTube. Oh, and then the C source. So if you get um, gitlab.com, slash apsdk slash apsdk or slash apsdk slash simulator date the um, branch is minape and that's where i've been putting all these changes currently if you're interested in the source code anyway tom bubble in las vegas nevada signing out